probably don't belong here. Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's Ranger Chris. How are we all? How is everyone on this fine Tuesday, I think it is? Um, now, I know my followers are from all over the world, so it's, I know it's different times everywhere. Um, but with me now, it's 10 to 11 in the morning. Um, I've just finished a live school session with a lovely school um, from Middlesbrough. That's at the northeast of uh, England. There was about 30 kids on in total. Hi, how are you doing? About 30 kids on in total. And it was lovely, to be honest. Really nice. Um, and obviously their parents were on as well. It was good. It was good fun. Um, I miss doing them. So um, I thought I'd come on and say hi. Um, just to let everyone know, anyone who gifts in this uh, live, um, it all goes towards our fund to keep the business alive. Um, hi, I hope um, I love your videos. Yeah, thank you so much. What food do I like to eat? Oh, lots of food. Um, me at the moment, I'm going to be showing you um, some of our amazing fossil and replica selection in a minute, guys. Um, from Lind um, Froom, Linda Froom, Sweden. Oh, from, oh, okay, hi, hi. How are you doing, Linda? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be showing you in a second some of our fossils, some of our replicas. Um, I haven't got all of my collection out, but because I've been doing a school, now is the right time to do it. I'm going to do a few TikTok videos with them as well. Um, and, yeah, it's cool. So, um, we'll do a little bit of a game, I think, where you can guess where what um, dinosaur is from, I guess. I guess. But before we start, where's the dinos? Um, I got a couple of the baby ones here. Um, I'll show you them in a minute too. Why not? Um, why not? Just why not? Give back, innit? Give back. Ooh, I found two fossils in my dad's. What were they? Do you know what they were? Because um, we're going to go fossil hunting. So for all those who don't know, we, we got a YouTube channel, okay? And the YouTube channel, um, it hit 10K followers yesterday. It's only been going a couple of weeks, so I'm really happy. Um, and on that channel, we've got lots of our TikToks. Um, we've got other things like where we meet our big dinosaurs and stuff. So if you if you want to see sort of uh, videos of them, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Um, and I'm going to be posting. Um, has anyone, does anyone watch Dino Ranch? I am Millie. Hello, Millie. How are you doing? Rex Raptor. Cool. Yeah, they are. You're right. Raptor Rex is pretty cool. Um, so if anyone's seen uh, Dino Ranch, it's going to be similar to that. Um, not as cheesy. It's going to be done in my way. Um, so we're going to find some of my fossils. For instance, here's a here's a real fossil. Hang on, I'll show you one now. Right, this is this is probably one of the the best specimens I've got. Um, so it's still in this jacket. It's called a jacket, guys. Okay. Um, when we find fossils in the field, um, we actually protect them in a plaster of Paris jacket like this, um, and then we transport them using this. This has been left in the jacket. Um, and here it is. Can you see it all? Let me put a pad down so it doesn't damage anything. Hang on. There we go. So can you see that? It's pretty cool, isn't it? That is epic. Um, fossils are awesome. Um, they We wouldn't know anything about prehistoric life without them, uh, including, obviously, dinosaurs, marine reptiles, pterosaurs, archosaurs, lots of different things. Uh, but this is very cool fossil. It is a wow fossil, you're right. They are interesting. Um, what's that? Right, so, has anyone heard of Mosasaurus? Favourite dinosaur, Therizinosaurus. I'll show you a claw in a minute. Um, this, though, is a Mosasaurus. And this is its vertebrae. Now, for those who don't know what a vertebrae is, it's your backbone, okay? And this is your vertebrae, or its vertebrae, not yours. A bit, bit, bit too big for yours. Um, and it's a really, really good uh, example of vertebrae. Um, so this is its backbone, basically, that goes all the way down to its tail. Um, and it's a very cool piece. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. Okay? Um, more of it was found um, afterwards. Um, but the Mosasaurus is a cool marine reptile. And not a dinosaur, guys, for those who don't know. Um, so if anyone's got any questions about them, just let me know, okay? And I'll answer them uh, best I can. Best I can. GI, it's rare. Um, Mosasaurus, not as rare as you think. Something in that condition and that good, yes, it's quite rare. But you find lots of their teeth, lots of individual vertebrae still. Um, but yeah, uh, something that pristine is quite rare 
how big a Mosasaurus. They were huge, size of a bus, higher from Brecon. Uh, bigger than a bus, actually. I should say a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. Now, those who asked what my favourite dinosaur was, it's a Therizinosaurus, and that's one of its claws. Huge, right? Imagine taking on that beast. Um, even is this dino TikTok? Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Um, all of my dinos, all of my TikToks are about dinosaurs. It's kind of my niche. Um, but this, the Therizinosaurus, um, this is one of its claws, and it is massive. The biggest claw, this is actually his finger here. It actually had three parts, a little bit's gone from the bottom. Um, and then the claw. So they could have a good reach. Three on each hand, guys. Imagine having three of these on each hand. And, hi, what is the rarest dinosaur? Rarest? They're all rare. Um, but when you talk about dinosaur fossils and finding them, um, there's lots of dinosaurs we haven't found a lot of. And Diplodocus is one. We haven't found hardly any skull. I don't think we found any skulls of a Diplodocus. Um, it, it was a dinosaur claw. Um, it is a claw from a Therizinosaurus. Show us again. Hang on then. Sorry, the comments are going a bit faster. There it is. So compared to my head, remember, three on each hand. This thing could stand about six metres tall too. So it was a big herbivorous dinosaur. Um, it's actually named the Scythe Lizard. Um, so hence after the claw. I think it's crazy how Therizinosaurus had those crazy, but was a herbivore. Yeah. Well, they're great harvesting tools though, if you think about it. Imagine cutting down trees and ferns and stuff. With that, give it me. <laughs> I got lots of cool stuff. I'll show you some more in a minute. Is it a rep replica? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so lots of people ask me that as well. Do you know when we go to schools and go into, it's not real, it's not real. That's all I get. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Now, some of our fossils are real, okay? Um, some of the uh, common ones like ichthyosaur vertebrae, uh, megalodon tooth, ammonites, things like that. Um, I've got a car carodontosaurus tooth. I'll go and get it. Hang on. Stay there. I'll get some more. Let's have some fun. So, da, 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 megalodon. Oh, vertebrae. That one. That's a good one. And that one. So, let me just put them down on my mat. I keep them on my mat. Um, ammonite. It's not... About being real, it's about educating. Yeah, so I, I don't put it that way. What The way I put it, guys, is if I was so irresponsible to go around and grab loads of, well, not grab, but purchase or acquire the only real Therizinosaurus's claw in the world, because there's not many of them, okay? If I was so to get that, and then I take it into a school... And I drop it, and it smashes into a thousand bits. That piece of history, that piece of um, rare fossil has gone forever. Never to be seen again. It could be seen in thousands of bits, but never to be seen whole again, okay? Um, and paleontologists, they spend hours and hours, and well, days and months uh, excavating these, okay? So, if we can excavate this perfectly and put it into a museum where it's safe forever and ever and ever, okay? then that can be viewed by millions of people over generations and we'll still have the original. Um, so if they turn around and they make a cast of it, which is an exact cast, because they do that, they make casts. Most of, the most of the stuff you see in museums are casts, guys, just to let you know, um, especially the, the large um, skeletons. So um, then it's gone forever. Now, when lots of fossils like ammonites, they get washed up, and um, uncovered daily on beaches. Now, these are the ones you can collect and keep, and they're not so rare. So, an ammonite, for instance, yeah, in, in a rock still, look at that, perfect rock. Um, open it up, and boom, there's the ammonite. Do you know what I mean? Um, now, I don't mind handling that, and I don't want to break it, but if I was to break that, then we would be able to find another replica, another replica, another example of it. So, yes, that's why. Sorry about the, the long explanation. Um, what's a good deal smaller and they have crests on there? Uh, what, what, what are we talking about there? Sorry, I missed, um, missed it. Can you show me a raptor? We will in a second. Um, this is a real, uh, this is the best 
tooth specimen I've got, a real one anyway. Um, lots of fake ones, but this is, look at that. You can still see how sharp it is, guys. Okay, Cacarodontosaurus, oh, Dilophosaurus, yeah. Dilophosaurus, double-crested lizard. It has got two crests on top. It hasn't got that frill of spitting um, compared to T-Rex. But Cacarodontosaurus, that's a North African dinosaur. Very sharp tooth. In fact, the word Cacarodontosaurus means the shark, uh, sorry, the shark tooth lizard. So, um, it's very cool, isn't it? Look at that. Perfect specimen. In fact, it's hard to show on the screen. It's actually, you can see the serrations in the... Um, in the tooth still. And that's a real one there. Do you know Argentina source? Of course I do, yeah. Um, they used to be the biggest. i got a feeling they've been overtaken now. Um, Favourite dinosaur, Therizinosaurus. Megalodon, giant shark. That's a cool real tooth of a Megalodon. Remember, guys, these are real. Um, lots of uh, marine reptiles, sharks you can find. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you. Means a lot. And of course... This one here, not many people know this one. Can you see it? That's an iguana, iguanodon's tooth, that. Okay? And iguanodon, well, that's an iguanodon. For those who don't know. The one with the cool thumbs. See the cool thumbs, the thumb spikes? You having a good day? It's been all right. It's been all right. Um, but yeah, these are some of our fossils. Uh, the replicas and stuff. Um, again, how do you get those? So, um, we go fossil hunting quite a lot. I've packed Ronaldo. I don't know what that means, packed Ronaldo. But anyway, well done. Um, we go fossil hunting a lot. I acquire a lot of things from museums. Um, I work with a lot of museums, so we get given quite a lot of stuff. Like these little bits, pieces of amber. Can you see them? With insects uh, inside. Um, so we get given a lot of... You have a Mosasaurus. Yeah, we have a large Mosasaurus fossil, yeah. Um, what's my favourite shark? Baskin shark, probably. Probably. Can you please say hi? Hi, Fiona, is it? Hi, Fiona. How are you doing? Um, so, yeah, they, these are some of our fossils. We've got a sh shed load more of replicas. Got a few more real ones as well, too. Um, but, yeah, um, I love collecting fossils. We wouldn't know anything about dinosaurs or any prehistoric creature without them, so they're super important. Yours is a hammerhead, yeah. Hammers, hammerheads are cool. Um, could I see the Mosasaurus fossil? Of course you can, mate. Godzilla game, mate. Yeah. This is its backbone. I just did show someone earlier. It's pretty big. Can you see it? Wasn't expecting to see that big, was you? So that's it. It's vertebrae. It's uh, backbone. Unsure of what part or what size this was, but... They are very big vertebrae, so it's a big beast, this one. Probably one of the full-size... Uh, well, I wouldn't even say full-size, maybe. Maybe a bit smaller than full-size. Oh, my God, it's huge. It is. So you can see from the side angle there, you can see... It's been excavated pretty well, but we're going to leave it in its protective jacket. That's that part. Um, it's Because this is one we take around schools to show. Um, we don't take lots of our real fossils in, but we take all of our replicas in. But now and again, it's nice to show... Um, the hard work that paleontology is, you know what I mean? So, um, anyway. Is a Mosa Chops a dinosaur? I don't think so. I've heard of one of them. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I think they're, they're, they're like little pigs. Um, how tall did they stand? The Mosasaurus didn't. It was a swimming um, marine reptile. But some dinosaurs stood... Just imagine the tallest dinosaur stood about three times the height of a giraffe. So that's pretty big. Pizza or pasta? Pizza all day. Um, but yeah. Howdy. Thanks, guys. Um, for those who don't know, we have got a GoFundMe going, guys, okay? Um, the business um, has been struggling the last few months due to the pandemic, obviously, the last year almost. Um, and we're going to be doing some new videos Um now, I've noticed a trend going on TikTok of opening cards. Um, and I know lots of people open football cards, okay? Now, um, I'm not into football that much. Not as much as I am into dinosaurs. So what I'm going to start doing is um, opening these um, and seeing what we get. So it's going to be fun. I'm going to see if we can collect them all. Have a great day. Um, so that's the, the plan. A 
Two o'clock. Do you have a raptor fossil? I don't have a real raptor fossil. In fact, I got a Dromaeus or Tuft somewhere. And let me go and grab it. That is a real one. But it's an unknown. So when we say unknown, um, when we say unknown, we don't know the species uh, because it's just too small and um, it's not complete. So here is, this is a, a real, hang on, let me get it out of his protective case. When you're handling fossils, guys, you got to be super careful um, and clean hands. So that there, that there is a raptor's tooth, okay? It's missing the end. It's unknown what raptor it's from. So we call it a dromaeus, so that's more the clade, the, the, the clan of raptors. Um, and we've also got, where did I put it? Oh, where did I put it? 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 So, this. See that? Replica claw. Now, everyone, when you see the size of that, they're like, that's Velociraptors. And I'm like, no, it isn't. Velociraptor was tiny. So that's a Velociraptor claw next to um, a Utah Raptor claw. That's a Utah Raptor, the biggest known Raptor. Velociraptor, okay? Now, Velociraptor's claw was huge compared to its body, okay? Um, and this... Is can you see that? That's a Deinonychus claw, another raptor. So um, raptors had curved, sickle-shaped claws um, for catching their prey. Awesome. Um, I must have left it over there, maybe. Um, but yeah, no, they're not real. Um, lots of our fossils are real. Most of them, though, um, are replicas. Um, as we explained earlier in the the live, we only carry replicas. Um, around because we don't want to break the originals. Imagine breaking the only... Oh, there it is. I knew I had it. This is a... See this? Can you see that? So, this is a Velociraptor's foot. Can you see it? Do you know in the films where they keep their toe off the floor? That's that part. These are its tiptoes. These are its toes. Okay? So they run on their tiptoes. This then is the base. So if that's your part, the base of your foot, that's that. Then that's their toes. Their toes are huge. They run really, really fast um, on their toes. Lots of creatures do that, ostriches and other things. Um, so that's it there, Velociraptor. And that's the size of their claw, full claw. See it? So um, they were very small. Beautiful creatures, Velociraptors, covered in feathers, size of a, oh, size of a turkey, almost. Very cool. Um, so thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed the live. Hope you did. Um, you know, we like having fun with lives. I'm going to go and do it on uh, our Facebook group now. Um, and um, we'll see you soon. Good, great. Have a great day. School, I have to do schoolwork. Um, what's the hardest dinosaur? Well, it's got to be the ankylosaurs, haven't it? Or, um, yeah, nodosaurs. They're all the armoured dinosaurs, so they were pretty hard. Um, one with the club on the end of the tail. But they, bye. Thanks, guys. Lots of love. Pants and vest.